Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. This is a counting nightmare. And that's the amazing twinning music called A Long Fall. Yeah, we did the twinning yesterday on stream. Oh, it was amazing. I mean, I already knew the music was great, but uh, the lore, oh my God, the lore. Okay, we're gonna continue Eden today. We can't finish it because uh, I need to progress further in the MSQ for part three, but we can finish part two. So we're going to do that, and then I'm just going to see what I feel like doing after that. Too many choices of what to do. Mm, got some tombstones to spend. Okay. Um, where do we go to continue? <laughs> ah, I think we go... Yeah, we go out to the empty. Out to the empty. Oops. Hey, Magic. Yeah, I've been really enjoying the Eden stuff so far. Really interesting story. Really, really fun fights. Oh, they've been great. Um. We're getting into the lore, too, about where the Flood of Light came, came from. It seems like there's one big Sin Eater, one, one original Light Warden that caused it all, called Eden. We don't know where Eden came from yet. That's, that's the next question, I suppose. <laughs> I'm assuming it was created by the Asians, but we don't know yet. But uh, Reen is able to control it. And uh, so we've been going inside it. It's like a big flying airship thing. And we're trying to use it to restore life to the empty. Uh, to do that, we're restoring each element one by one. We've done three of them. We did uh, earth, water, and lightning. Yeah. Ah, no worries, Mia. Had your first night of prog go. I can't wait till I catch up with the with all the content and story so I can actually watch that. <laughs> That'll be fun. But yeah, for, for reasons to restore each element, I have to imagine what each primal look like, and then we basically it's an excuse to refight the primals in a whole new way. And they've been messed up so far. Leviathan had two heads. Um Titan was a cool transformer thing that turned into a cart. It was awesome. And Ramu was a centaur. Hey Kyo, welcome. Good to see ya. Didn't clear, but you did get to enrage. Oh, nice. That that's progress. That is progress. If you can survive that long, that's a good sign. Hmm. So we're up to we're up to wind. I think is what we said we were doing next. It's kind of a fiery motif going on though. So I, I'll, maybe we're doing fire. I don't know. Also, there's this lady, Gaia. She attacked us, but it seems like she was getting controlled by some outside force. Uh, she is the Oracle of Darkness, apparently. Some kind of counterpart to Reen. We don't understand what's up with her yet. She's She's got some other entity talking to her, giving her power. Dark power. Uh, and she's got amnesia. She doesn't know much about her family or anything. And so she's joining us to try and uncover her her past, recover her memories and figure out what's up with this being that's in her mind. That's a quick summary. None of us looked up anything so almost totally blind prog. Oh nice. What kind of mischief will Rain and her two dads get up to? <laughs> they do actually act like two dads don't they? <laughs> They've had some fun uh, little banter. Like an old married couple. It's been pretty funny. Yeah, so we're, the elements we've restored so far, they've only affected this little area. We're hoping it will spread to more of the empty, but uh, that happen hasn't happened yet. So we're just going to continue restoring the elements and hopefully everything's fine. Alright into the firestorm. 
oh, are we going to maybe fight both of them, Ifrit and Garuda? Or are they going to be like an amalgamation thing? That would be cool. Oriange's knitted brow almost certainly spells trouble. Namely, for you. Ere we set out once more, might I ask if thou art familiar with the process by which rain is made to fall? Uh. <laughs> I suppose so. It's an elegant conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. <laughs> Hmm, it certainly would not be beyond the elegant to manipulate the weather, if such is thy suggestion, but it is of naturally occurring phenomena that I would speak. I think I've worried Oriange with my education level. <laughs> with the restoration of our first element, the empty was once more blessed with the most essential ingredient in the cycle of participation, precipitation, water. Under normal circumstances, the heat existence in the atmosphere would cause water to evaporate from the land's surface. As invisible vapour, it is borne by the wind high unto the firmament, where it doth con de condense as clouds before descending once more, returning to the land in the form of rain. It seems we need wind-aspected ether to create more clouds. That it hasn't rained yet must mean there aren't enough. And even before that, we need fire-aspected aether to make the water evaporate. It seems to me that one's not much good without the other. Why don't you just draw out both elements together? Sure, let's take shortcuts. You're suggesting that Belchan fight two deiform entities, each one as deadly as Ramu at the same time. Do you realise how absurd that is? And yet, it is a notion that doth warrant further consideration. Oh, you can't be serious. Cast your minds, if you will, to the elemental will I did show to you in the Bookman's Shelves. PowerPoint presentation! Wind giveth rise to lightning, whose spark doth produce fire. By restoring both wind and fire in tandem, we may maintain balance between these dynamic elemental forces. Alright, so wind, lightning, and fire. Okay, those are the light elements, aren't they? Yeah, those are astral. The ensuing battle shall indubitably present an ordeal unlike any Melchan hath ever faced. I believe, however, that this path doth lead to the prize we seek. Oh, so perhaps it's not so absurd after all, Air Thancred? I wouldn't dream of questioning Oriange's grasp of the science behind it. My concern is for the burden this would place not only on Melchan, but Reen as well. What do you both make of the plan? If Oriange thinks it'll work, I'm willing to give it a try. Sounds like fun. As long as you know what you're letting yourselves in for, you're going to need all your strength, so see that you get plenty of rest. Gaia. Quest accepted. I have selected a location in which wind and fire aspected ether lie dormant, though I shall wait until Reen hath completed her preparations ere I dispense with the particulars. I'd rather Reen keep her mind on our work here than worry about Gaia. Mind you, it might be better for them to clear the air before we go any further. What's up, Gaia? I can't stand all of this waiting around. Having grown up in Yulmore, I'm used to living to only living for the moment. 
We never had any reason to concern ourselves with later, tomorrow, the future, and so on. Those things simply didn't matter. But after Lord Vorthry disappeared and the knight returned, everyone in Yulmore started thinking differently. I was only there for a short time with Thancred, and I couldn't believe how much it had changed. It was almost as though under Lord Vorthry's rule, time had stopped moving altogether, and when it ended, life went back to how it was supposed to have been. They realised they had their whole lives ahead of them, to make plans, and look forward to a new day. It feels like I'm the only one who can't move on, as if I'm still stuck in the past. What's worse, I can barely remember any of it. Even so, I can't stand the way they act as if the past never happened, choosing to forget it all. Hmm. Just ask her out already, Reen? Yeah. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. It seems Reen is reluctant to air her concerns. Were you to rally her spirits, she may become more willing to talk. Rally your spirits. You can do it. Just ask her out. Just kidding. Unless... Yes, you're right. There's no use in trying to pilot Eden while I've got other things on my mind. It's about Gaia, you see. Oh, really? Did not guess at all. <laughs> the truth is that apart from Alizé and Alphino, I hardly know anyone my own age. I thought that I should make an effort to be nice to Gaia, but... Well, you've seen how she is around me. I understand that she's got her own problems to deal with, but I thought that maybe I could help her in some way. It's not my place to intrude, and I should probably just leave her be until we've finished restoring the elements. After all, that's more important, isn't it? Let me talk to Gaia, while you concentrate on the task at hand. Is what I would have said, once upon a time. <laughs> it seems to me that you're the best, you're the one best qualified to take care of this little problem. I know she can be a bit prickly, to put it mildly, but if anyone can get through to her, it's you. Although we've only known her for a short while, we're all she's got, and I think she realises that. Just let her know she's not alone, and she'll come around eventually. Alright, I'll give it a try. Um, do you have any advice? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thancred certainly has the gift of the gab, he'll know what to say. Oriange can talk the hind legs off a behemoth, I want to ask him. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Thancred's the more logical choice. He knows how to talk to people. I'm afraid that since arriving in the first, I've had little time to mingle with any of the locals, and I haven't a clue what young women like Gaia would be interested in. Ah, that's given me an idea. I'll start with some small talk and go from there. Actually, since before she even woke up, I've been asking Lina about what's popular in the Crystarium. I thought it might be nice to show Gaia around the place one day, you see. So that's what you were doing. I suppose it makes for a nice change of pace from all that studying. And I must commend thee on thy choice of con conf confidant. The captain's powers of observation make of her a veritable font of wisdom concerning the behaviour of the Crystarium citizenry. Yes, and now it's time to put that knowledge to good use. Aw, it's so supportive. A euro? You can't spell Yuri anger without Uriange. <laughs> Don't let the fear of rejection hold you back. Persistence is the key. Speaking from experience by any chance? 
But whatever do you mean? Lessons learned from days spent in pursuit of ladies' fair, one might suspect. <laughs> you couldn't help yourself, could you? It's all right, Thancred. Your secret's safe with me. Ahem. <clears throat> May I remind you that the reason we're here is to create a better future for everyone in the first, which includes you and Gaia. While it might not be on the same scale as bringing life back to the empty, if you're able to befriend her, that will be another way of contributing to a brighter tomorrow. So go on. She's waiting for you. Oh, this is so cute. All right. Wish me luck. Good luck. Reen is ready to approach the decidedly unapproachable Gaia. You had best observe the conversation from within earshot. Uh, uh, eavesdrop? Uh, okay. Is she okay with that? Okay. Thancred may have taken on the role of Reen's surrogate father, but I have of late become something of a mentor to her, though largely in instilling what knowledge I can of the ethereal sciences. A more attentive student thou shalt seldom find. I'm just doing cutscene stuff before next. Eden boss. It's when Reen and I face our problems together that it truly feels like we're family. Or at least what I imagine it would be like. I suppose we both grew up without our birth parents to guide us, but I think we turned out rather well, given the circumstances. I wonder if this is the kind of bond that Flamin shared with Benfilia. Oh, I just forgot there's that quest to do with uh, Flamin as well, over in Mordona. Lots of cool stuff to do. Hmm, she looks like she's got a lot on her mind. Maybe now's not such a good time? Instead of bothering me when I'm obviously not in the mood to talk, why don't you get back to work? Yes, I will go back to work. Eavesdropping. I'm doing squats. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> uh, I am. Uh, I'm a little bit obvious, aren't I? <laughs> um. What do you want? Oh, uh, nothing really. It can wait till later. For all we know, there might not even be a later. <laughs> if you've got something to say, hurry up and spit it out. Um, is everything alright? Not feeling strange from being around Eden or anything? Is that what you came here to talk about? <laughs> I just look so funny. Actually, I wanted to ask you. W would you like to go and have coffee biscuits with me? Aww. <laughs> what? <laughs> Coffee biscuits. They serve them at the second serving in the Crystarium. Everyone's talking about them, so I thought that maybe once we've finished our work here, you and I could go there together. Let me get this straight. You came to talk to me about biscuits? Yes, they're light and crispy, and when you dip them in the coffee, they go all nice and squidgy. <laughs> squidgy. The only reason you're even interested in that in the first place is because everyone else is doing it. Can't you think for yourself? Aww. 
I do what I want, when I want. After all, the world could end at any moment. That's not going to happen. Not if I've got anything to do with it. Listen, Gaia. I understand what you're going through. Believe me, I do. But you mustn't lose hope. A new day will come. Then another, and another. Life's not so bad if you give it a chance. You'll see. Shut up. You think you know me. Even I don't know who I am. Until I find the truth, I'll never be free. Then we'll find it together. I've seen enough pain, enough loss, and I don't want to see any more. And that includes you, Gaia. Why do you care so much about other people? What have they ever done for you? I'm sure you haven't forgotten how we your Morans treated you, the precious oracle of light, like a bird in a cage. And yet, you act as if none of that ever happened. So forgiving, so selfless. You and your family brought back the night sky, and you finally had the chance to lead a normal life. But instead, you're flying around in a giant sin eater, trying to turn a barren wasteland into some sort of paradise. And for what? I may not remember much of my past, but I'm fairly certain I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Out of morbid curiosity, I'll see it through to the end. But if you think that makes us friends, you are very much mistaken. Hmm. Gaia? Welp. Aw. Hey, the grey man. Welcome. The eighteenth final day. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a big list of everything I want from the Wii U store. I surmise that to keep Gaia waiting over long would only agitate her further. Yeah, let's let's go fight. Um, whatever we're fighting. <laughs> Garuda plus Ifrit? Garuda fruit? Ifrifruda? Well. Okay, she, she'll get there. She'll, she'll get through to her in the end. Oh, this place is cool. Oh yeah, if anyone has any suggestions on cool stuff to get from the Wii U store, feel free to let me know, because I want to... Oh, D DLC. Should I get any DLC for any Wii U games I have? I probably should, shouldn't I? Like Pikmin. Pikmin 3. Hmm. Not you as well. Look, I've had enough small talk to last me a lifetime, so don't even bother. I believe you have a job to do, yes? Then be quick about it. Most have been ported to Switch. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I forgot they ported Pikmin 3 as well. Hmm. Did I pick up Pikmin 3 for Switch? I'll have to check. <laughs> Reen's looking a bit down in the doldrums, but do let me worry about that. We can't allow anything to interfere with whatever goes on in your mind when summoning those primals. Mm. <laughs> I think we've both rested for long enough. Let's get started, shall we? I hope it all goes according to plan. Aw. Guy has put doubt in her. It'll be fine, you'll see. Hopefully. Mega Man Battle Network games, yeah, I can emulate those. Nice, thanks Kyo. I'll send out some invites in a second. To defeat the day of four manifestations of both wind and fire shall require every last mote of thy strength. That thou hast triumphed over such beings in previous encounters should be at the forefront of thy mind as we commence the summoning. Where are we going this time, Arianje? The place called Ashfall doth satisfy our requirements, I believe. 
The fables speak of travellers sweltering beneath the blazing heat of the midday sun, while after nightfall, slicing winds did tear at their cloaks. Hmm, I see. Hopefully it won't be quite that bad when I draw out the elements. Green, my dear. May I remind thee that to focus is not the same as to deny other, other thoughts. Whatsoever it is that troubleth thee, thou wouldst be better for acknowledging it. Yes, you're right, of course. It's Gaia that I'm worried about. That is well. May thy concern for her lend thee yet more strength. It's time. I'll begin drawing out wind and fire in equal measure. Melchan, we've only get one. Uh, we've only got one chance at this, so let's make it count. Hmm. Really interested to see what this is going to look like. Memories of Garuda and Ifrit rage through your mind. Furor. Rage is a good word that fits both of those uh, primals. <laughs> Smash four DLCs. I think I've got all the all the, all the ones I, I want anyway. Um, punch out Wii. Ooh, that's a good one. Punch out Wii. Thank you. I wonder what sort of hellish beasts you've conjured up this time. How long has it been since our encounter with Ifrit and his emol Emolger followers? A long time. <laughs> My studies indicate that no equivalent of Garuda's servants, the Ixal, are present here on the first. My hypothesis as to the reason why can perhaps wait to another time. Well, it's because the Ixal were created by the uh, Allegans. I already know that one, Arianje. If we summon two primals at once, maybe they'll fight each other. That way, you'll only need to beat the one left standing. But I suppose it defeats the purpose of it if you don't take them both down at the same time. Alright. We'll send out some invites. Who would like to come? <laughs> Got Kyo. Alright. Who would like to come for Eden Six? Hmm, I like this music. We've got Marissa, We've got Mia, We've got Garros, nice. Passing the first one, no worries. Magic, uh, you were, you were Drasco, sweet. Yes, thank you. Oh, your invite was cancelled? Oh, weird. I shall try again. Oh, I think it's because it, yeah, it swapped to a, um, a cross-world party. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Thanks all. Alright, did I miss anyone? We got Marissa, we got Mia, we got Garros. Yeah, we got Kyo, we got Magic. Okay, that's everyone, I think. Raid. Furor. According to Rianje, the elements of fire and wind must be restored simultaneously to successfully complete the cycle of rainfall and evaporation. 
Unfortunately for you, this equates to facing the combined might of a pair of raging primals. Images of the ferocious Ifrit and the maniacal Garuda are made flesh, and you steal yourself for battle. Damn, this sounds awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick look at the mechanics. Walls of death. Spinny circles. Need another person to stack to weigh it down, then can dodge out. Okay. Tethers. Giant column. Okay. Proximity marker. Dun, dun. Okay, pull tethers off of people. Lots of tethers, it sounds like. This sounds really cool. Probably gonna die horribly. Alright, let's do a recheck. This one you remember being kind of overwhelming? Ah, yeah, it does sound like there's a lot going on. Oh, gotta activate that. Heat of battle. Yeah. Join. Bum, bum, bum. Just gotta find one tank and one heal. And then off we go. Bum, 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 bum. Might as well drink some water while we're waiting. little symbols just going back and forth. <laughs> Don't know what it, what it uh, represents, but it's cute. You have enough NP. Never. I never reap. <laughs> None left. <laughs> A millennia old P2P file transfer in progress. Oh yeah, it does kind of remind me of that kind of thing. It's like counting's done, but is exhausted, so... Oh, no, you still want to come? All right. I'll send counting an invite. Hi. That's seven. Seven people. All right, ready to check so people know we're queuing up again. First near raid. Ah, okay. I'm thinking about doing those soon. <laughs> 
Sounds like that all be me when I do those soon. <laughs> Just needs one tank. Gimme in. Gimme. Gimme. Having trouble finding one tank. I, I should go check on my retainers and send them out on another thing. But I'm enjoying this music. <laughs> Music's too good. I have things I can go and do, but I'm just enjoying the music. You know, try, starting up something that I want to do while we're waiting will be, uh, that's, that's the way to make a queue pop, so let's go do something. I'm gonna go to Gridania and check on my retainers in my little squadron. <laughs> check on my squadron first. Mm, kind of like that robe. Quite nice. XP manuals, num num. Ooh, and some crafter scripts. Tasty. Nice. All good, whatever you want to play. Might as well send them out on something else. Just to rack up achievements. Yeah, more crafter scripts. Urgh. Have fun. Oh, Heliodore Carbuncle. Ooh. Oh my God! Look at it's got little. Looks like it's got little hair. It is just a head pattern, but it, it looks like a, a little mohawk. Oh, that's a cute one. Hmm. It is te still technically under five minutes. Not anymore now. <laughs> Emmerich with me today. Conditional virtue. Hmm. Scary. Oh no, they're still on their ventures. 
I can vendor some stuff. Really struggling for <laughs> retainer space now. FF11 reference. Yeah, Absolute Virtue was one of the super bosses, wasn't it? I remember reading about super bosses from 11 that were kind of redonkulous and um, pandemonium. God, what was the other one called? Pandemonium Warden, where it would like just like I was reading this long. I think it was a live journal post actually from the first group trying to kill Pandemonium Warden, and it turned into all these other bosses and took them hours, and they had to give up in the end. FF11 sounds like a uh, experience. <laughs> Cracked crystal. Where do I turn this in? Idleshire, maybe? Oh! Aiden! There's rumours that they're going to launch a joint sub for both 11 and 14. Interesting. Hmm. That'd be kind of cool. I wonder what 11 is like these days. I've, I've forgotten all the mechanics I read. Uh, lots of tethers. Um, if someone's got four tethers, go and steal one so they don't die. Um, it worked! <laughs> Voice acting. Oh, that's... Uh... <laughs> Heritors of Fury, Gerudo and Ifrit. What the fuck happened to Ifrit? <laughs> what did I do to Ifrit? <laughs> I forgot how good Gerudo's theme is. Went on a diet. <laughs> hey Lauren, welcome. How you doing? Yes, the double feature. This is cool. We just started the fight. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, someone needs to walk into it and then it weighs it down or something. Okay, yeah, and then they can move out. Okay. Kind of cool. Rip! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Bacon! Bacon slice. Occluded front. What does that mean? Uh. Insolent worms. They dare defy me! A pitiful display. Stand aside. Here comes Ifri. <laughs> Why is he hot? <laughs> Ends of flame. Is that a tank buster? Seemed kind of weak. Oh, okay. These are the tethers. I think I take one. Okay.
Don't know what that means. <laughs> Probably fine. Blood Lily. Strike Spark. What foot? Oh, I see. <laughs> I probably should have followed everyone else, huh? Oh, no, okay. Oh, rip. Oh. These mortals are not so easily bested. Oh, I've already used my swift cast. That's right, we do have a, a red mage, so I can let them res. He's gonna kick that, is he? Oh. <laughs> That's cute. How he kicks the balls around. Big cone. Join me, Ifrit, by raging wind and engulfing flame. We are born anew. <gasps> yes, fuse, please. I need to see this. <gasps> oh my god, they're cool. I, I should probably heal. Raktopaxa? He who soareth on wings of crimson. Ah! Oh, whoop, I never see that. Ah! Oh. Didn't make it in time. Thank you. Oh no. These fights are pretty intense. I like them. This remix too. Gotta get away from that cone. Storm of Fury. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Instant incineration. That sounds bad. Oh my god, that was cool. <laughs> that was amazing. These fights are so good. <laughs> that was awesome. Bum, bum, bum. And I 
fair, I don't actually want any of the Eden stuff, so. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Limit break! <laughs> that was cool. For a moment, I thought Reen had lost control of the ether. Luckily, we managed to avoid any major disasters, from what I can tell. Combining the contrasting powers of different primals. That seems an awful lot like the Ultima weapon. In any case, I'm pleased to see that you're as successful here as you were at the Praetorium. That two such ferocious beings should meld into a single entity is frightful indeed. Further research must needs be performed to fully comprehend this unexpected phenomenon. Eh, they, they combined because it's cool. <laughs> Next one is a blast. Uh oh. <laughs> that was incredible. I never imagined they would fuse together like that, but you took them down all the same. I suppose the main thing is that we're now two elements closer to restoring the ether of the empty. Let's go and see what difference it's made. Mm, I think ice is the only one left, isn't it? Shiva. Oh, it's pretty. And it's raining. It actually worked, just like Orianje said it would. Everything we could have hoped for. Indeed, our endeavours have been repaid manifold. I wonder what will happen when we restore ice. Um, is something the matter? One more element, and then what? You will have achieved the impossible, while I'll still be nothing. No memory, no past, no family. Nothing. The world has moved on and left me behind. Anyone who ever knew me is either dead or gone. So, almighty Eden, you can mend this broken world, but you can't restore one girl's memories? Give me my life back, damn you! I still hunger. Oh, is that the, the fairy thing? Extinguish the accursed light. Awaken our true power. Enough riddles. Tell me who I am. You are. I am. Gaia. Gaia. Gaia? What's wrong? Reclaim your memories. Fulfill your destiny. I don't understand. Gaia, can you hear me? Get away from me! Hmm. 
midst the sound of falling rain, your voice called from within. Long after the rain passed, your echo voice, uh, your voice echoed on. The next one's your favourite in the series. Ooh. These have been amazing so far, so. Oh, just get it over with, would you? Poor Gaia. If the fairy lives inside her, why would it let her suffer like this? I wish there was something we could do to help. Pray be on thy guard, my friend. Gaia may yet relinquish control to the voice within. Mm. Heart of Darkness. The end crit is looking particularly chipper, despite the heavy rainfall. While this downpour is precisely the result we were hoping for, the novelty of standing outside in the rain does wear off rather quickly. Not to mention, Gaia's looking a bit under the weather. Let's continue this conversation in Eden's core. Under the weather? <laughs> That's a dad joke if I ever heard one. Well, I should probably take a break and feed Cleo, actually, before we continue on. What music do we want to listen to during the break? Need to take a 10 minute break and feed Cat. Bum, bum. This is a cooler landscape, but I like the music of. I like this music better. Yeah, we'll, we'll listen to this, this music. Be back in 10. Feel free to drop. Feel free to dwarp <laughs> if you want to do stuff. Yeah, I'm going AFK. Oh, hang on. First, we'll set off cat alarm. How, the, how does the gameplay of these raids just continue getting cooler and cooler? It just doesn't stop. It just keeps getting better. Cat alarm. Cat alarm, cat alarm. Where is cat? No sign of cat? I'll go put food in her bowl anyway. She'll show up. Oh, no, here she comes. I hear her. Hello. Hello. Gonna come closer? No? Oh, suddenly, gotta, gotta clean. Sweetie, nope. All right, fine. I'll go. I'll go and feed you. Jeez. All right. Idling camera. Hey, Empress. Well, I was like, yeah, we kind of suck, but at least we have good raids. FF. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty amazed at how good Final Fantasy's raids are. Oh. Okay, I should be back in about ten minutes. Okay, 
I'm back. Hello, I'm back. Um, bark. All right, continuing the story. Hmm. So we uh, we just had the lovely twist of fighting Ifrit and Garuda together, and I'm very curious what they have in store for Shiva. What does it want? Why won't it tell me? I'm not sure what's going on with Gaia, but it's certainly a cause for concern. Perhaps this is the fairy making itself known. Now that I think about it, I don't really know all that much about Eden. Since we need to find out how it's connected to Gaia, I should try to understand it at a deeper level. To be honest, there isn't much else I can do. Now, we've got no idea where this thing came from. <laughs> Looks very artificial. Hmm. Here we set forth to restore the element of ice. I would discuss the manner in which the summoning shall be undertaken. Just tell me one thing. Is this going to bring the empty back to the way it was before the flood? Eh, not really. Yeah, like we can't we can't bring back everyone who died. Hey Dr. Zyman, welcome. Every time you join my stream you get the just eggs ad with the buff shirtless dude. <laughs> I haven't seen that ad, that mustn't be running in Australia. That sounds hilarious though. Yeah, but most ads here at the moment where I live on Twitch are um Uber Eats. Yeah, the same Uber Eats ad over and over. <laughs> well, none can say for certain. The change we have observed at points of ethereal intersection doth give us cause for optimism. It may be reasonably assumed that the empty shall continue to transform and, in the decades to come, regain a semblance of its former state. Decades? I don't think you have quite, sorry, I don't think you've quite grasped the sheer scale of the damage left in the wake of the flood. It would have swallowed the entire world if Minfilia hadn't stopped it. Even if Rin has inherited her blessing, wounds like that don't heal overnight. After all, the Empty has been utterly devoid of life for a hundred years. And it might take even longer than that to bring life back. I don't expect immediate results. But I do know that it will stay like this forever, unless we can do something about it. My sentiments precisely. Only once the final element is restored shall we have a glimpse of the future that awaiteth those of generations yet to come. You do all this for a world you may not live long enough to see? Well, here I am, so absorbed in my own problems that I spare barely a thought for anyone beside myself. For so long, I've listened to that voice, telling me what to do, who to be. I was so scared of what might happen if I disobeyed. But I don't want to live like that anymore. I want to be... me. Who am I? What am I? Perhaps it's better if I never find out. If Reen's the Oracle of Light, here to mend this broken world, what does that make me? Gaia, the Oracle of Darkness, bringer of misery and death, a monster. It's no wonder they left me. Mother, father, and next it'll be all of you. Then I'll be back where I started, where I've always been, alone. Mm -hmm. Gaia, is it the fairy? 
What's wrong? Afraid I might lose control and ruin all your carefully laid plans? No, it's you I'm worried about. Reen, I'm... I'm going outside to clear my head. You... Just do what you need to do, all right? Something's wrong. I know it. That much is clear. It's probably fine. <laughs> This is in the US. You're surprised they run shitless anything here in Utah? <laughs> if we have a repeat of her first visit to Eden, we may even be joined by those void sent friends of hers. If you go and see what Guy is doing, Arianje and I will stay with Reen. My name is Gaia. That's what you said, isn't it? Eden, the Flood. What does it all mean? No, it can't be. Is this what it's been waiting for all this time? Finally, you remember. Uh-oh. What is this? The darkness that dwells within you, Gaia. The hell is that? The accursed spawn of light are drawn to it, like moss to a flame. Pathetic, mindless, and easily bent to my wheel. Sin Eaters? Now, the time of awakening has come. Um... Hi. What's going on? <laughs> Melchan, Rain senses sin eaters. What's happened? Ah. <laughs> Don't try to fight them. Just bring Gaia back inside. Quickly now. happened <laughs> birds that's a lot of birds she's in a bad way but at least she doesn't seem to have lost control what entity is this that should hold us a horde of sin eaters in its thrall and to what end she's unconscious My Gaia voice is starting to make you imagine her as a, some Dero bo Bogan. Oh no, <laughs> that's not what I intended. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gaia. What's happened to her? That's a concern for later. First, we must deal with those Sin Eaters. Milchan, if thou wouldst care to repel our assailants without, I would task Thancred with standing guard within. 
I shall attend to Gaia, meanwhile. Iconoclasm. Alright, well, we're not fighting Chiva yet. We'll do that later, I guess. Instead, we're fighting Burbs. Whereas before, twas Gaia who sought to destroy Eden. On this occasion, she hath become the target. I'm not sure if there's much Eden can do to help, but I'll try to keep it steady. While Orianje watches over Gaia, I'll tend to any eaters that chance to slip inside. Alright. Iconoclasm. As you and your comrades prepare to restore the last of the six elements, Gaia's mind is suddenly seized in the grip of an unknown and malevolent force. Dark Aether swirls around her and slowly coalesces into an ominous glyph hovering high above Eden. From nowhere, a vast swarm of Sin Eaters circles around it as moss to a flame, and a voice that emanates from within the core claims to hold dominion over these creatures of light. While its true purpose remains unknown, one thing is abundantly clear. It must be vanquished before it is allowed to place your mission in jeopardy. Hmm. Sinitus sounds like an insult from FF10. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Okay. Um, we have seven still. Is there anyone else who wanted to hop in for the last spot? Or otherwise I shall queue up. And I'll check out the mechanics. Birds charge down lanes. Okay. When portals appear, the portal colour that gets hit by the birds first will explode down its lanes first. Okay. <laughs> sure. Teleportation markers. Try to at least land on the platform. Okay. Don't stack the stack markers. Colour. Get hit by the opposite. Okay. Portal hit by coloured bird will spit out that same colour. Oh god. <laughs> Is this like a, an Ikaruga thing? <laughs> ah, you want to join now? Nice. I shall invite you. We have Hero. That's our whole party. Alright. Oh, we got two tanks. You can be uh you can be either heal or DPS. Uh, I think Rave is fine either. Healing or DPS, whatever you want, hero. Dragoon. Ooh, I like Dragoon. Okay. Ready check. I'm gonna die. Let's go. Herbs. You never actually healed this one? Ah. It'll be fine. You'll take off tank top lane DPS. <laughs> Ooh. Antithesis Conscient. The idol of darkness. So many of them. But nothing we can't handle. Yeah. They're just little birds. It's fine. Eat an egg. XP. Killing them one by one's not going to work. You have to attack that concentration of darkness. That makes sense. Empty wave. I'm 
waiting for scary things to happen. <laughs> Is that what's controlling them? Void gates. Oh god. Um, <laughs> are those void gates? Be careful. Um, oh. <laughs> Oh god, my brain already hurts. Okay, those two are going. One of them's gonna go on a blue gate, so I go here? I think? And then here? Oh wait, no, not there. Oh, oh god! <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Away with the... Um, oh, I see. I'm going to that symbol. Okay. Whee! That's cool. This fight's very cool already. Stuck mockers. Oh. Rip. It's fine. <laughs> uh, uh oh, something's happening. charged attacks okay this is where you have to swap colors I think okay I'm blue now I'm blue Darkness is growing. Uh, that's probably fine. Gonna teleport to the middle of the donut. That's probably fine, right? Yeah. Man, I love that teleport mechanic. That's cool. Things coming. Uh oh. This is very cool. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you. <laughs> uh. Void gate. Uh, which one is mine? Uh, that one. Okay. <laughs> Portals, my brain has trouble wrapping around. I have no problem with the teleport though. Oh god, portals, why? Those two are going through, um, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> um, okay, rip Garros. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> I started figuring out the portals at the end. I, I just didn't realise there was a delay on the portals. That was very cool. I want to go on the ride again. I want to go again. Nice. We beat the dark thing. Thinking with portals. <laughs> That's how you play Portal 2, yes. No phones. That was cool. That was amazing. Can't wait to do that again. Sin Eaters drawn to the Oracle of Darkness, just as she herself was drawn to Eden first and foremost among their kind. The interior is secure. With the eaters gone, I thought that Gaia might show some sign of improvement, but she hasn't so much as stirred. She won't wake up. What do we do? She's probably just sleeping. She's tired, okay? We had a long day. I beat Dark Souls. <laughs> what is this place? Where is everyone? So, I'm all alone. Even the fairy is gone. Endless silence. Endless darkness. Is this what death feels like? It's no use. No one can hear me. How ironic. All those times I wanted peace and quiet, and now that I finally have it... I wish I had someone to talk to. I thought I couldn't stand to be around them, all their interfering and fussing, and yet I was never lonely. Aww. But it's no use. Even after everything we went through, my memories still won't come back. 
There is no future awaiting me, only emptiness. Those memories, they can stay lost forever, if only this pain will leave me. Now, I close my eyes and sink into darkness. And then I'll suffer no more. Gaia! Mother, father. Wake up! I understand now. Why wait for tomorrow to claim us? Gaia, can you hear me? This perfect moment never has to end. I'm not giving up on you, Gaia. Say something. What do you want? Please, I'm begging you. Remember all the things we said we'd do? Like going to the second serving for coffee biscuits? I never... Gaia? I never agreed to anything of the sort. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried about you. Oh. Cute. <sighs> you have to be so loud. The fairy fell silent, only to be replaced by Reen's voice ringing through my head. Never thought I'd be so glad to hear it. Ah! The PS3 died for that hug. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Though Gaia hath regained consciousness. I surmise that it shall be some time before she is fully recovered from her ordeal. We still don't know exactly what happened, but at least the danger's passed for now. Whatever that thing was, it was able to control a vast swarm of Sin Eaters, much like Vorthry. Then again, it's clearly nothing like a Light Warden. In any case, it's gone now. I just hope it stays gone. On thin ice. <gasps> Shiva! Gaia's recent ordeals have left her rather more subdued than usual. You've all gone through a lot of trouble on my part. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Anyway, I've delayed you for long enough. Please, carry on with what you came to do. Quest accepted! I'm glad you're back to your usual self, but how are you feeling? Much better now, but something is still bothering me. The fairy spoke to me in a dream, and a stream of memories rushed through my mind. I don't recall anything like this happening before, and I'm not sure what it all means. What sort of memories? I can't make any sense of them. They were only brief flashes seen through someone else's eyes. At least, that's what it felt like. Minfilia, that is, the first Oracle of Light, once served Hydaelyn as the word of the mother. If the Oracle of Darkness is her counterpart under Zodiac, then we had best prepare ourselves for the worst. I... 
the knight's return did tip the ethereal balance towards activity, which may have served to awaken the fragment of his power in the first. Mm. Having thus roused, he did then fix his gaze upon she who had been marked by darkness, Gaia. Marked or no, Gaia's still her own person. Hmm? Everything alright? It's nothing. <laughs> anyway, let's forget about all that for now. There'll be plenty of time to think about it, uh, think it through once the last element's restored. If thou believest thyself well enough, then I see no reason for delay. Let us forthwith attend to the revitaliz revitalization of ice. Words are hard. Shiva then. Melchan, as the only one here to have actually seen the primal, perhaps you could describe her for us. Oh, this music. The degree to which this Eden questline is just FF8 is kind of incredible. <laughs> You regret to inform me that there is now competition for the gayest storyline in FF14. <laughs> a woman named Azel made herself a vessel for Shiva. She and the Great Worm Race Vilga shared an undying bond. An undying bond. To find a kindred spirit in such an ancient and fearsome creature, I can hardly imagine what sort of a person she must have been. The long since departed Shiva was a source of great inspiration to Azel, whose method of summoning differed greatly from any we had previously encountered. By the echo did she bear witness to the deeds of the noble Shiva, and thus was she moved to dedicate her being to that self-same cause. It was this devotion that granted her the power of a primal. So, she was able to control it herself? Not getting any funny ideas, are you? Ah, uh, just thinking aloud, that's all. Anyway, we'd better get going. Hmm, are we thinking this is a primal? Hmm. Our journey leadeth to a great glacier situated in the northernmost region of the Empty. I'll get us there as quickly as I can. Time to draw out the ether. Um, I was thinking. That I should go with you this time. I want to be the vessel for Shiva. What? Being still and passive by nature, ice is the element that is most strongly aligned to light. I'll need to get close and use my own abilities, as well as Eden's, to draw it out. So that the oracle of light becometh the oracle of ice. I cannot claim to be in favour of this stratagem, and yet, the primer we encountered in the source was summoned in much the same manner. The inherent advantages are undeniable. Absolutely out of the question. <laughs> Have you forgotten what Melchan does to the primals we summon? I'm not about to stand by and watch as she and Reen beat the tar out of each other. In any case, the Aether only returns to the empty once the creature's been slain. Although it seems you haven't taken that into consideration yet. Presumably there's a safe way to disperse it, but it's still far too risky. I thought you had more sense, Reen. But it's not as bad as it sounds. With a deiform entity as volatile as the primals we have previously summoned, it would be logical to assume that, 
In her role as conduit, Rian would be hard-pressed to retain control. Melchamp would have no recourse but to defend herself by any means necessary, else her life be forfeit. I know it's dangerous, but I can't let that hold me back. Please, I've got to try. What? But I don't see why this is even necessary in the first place. You never had to take risks like this for the other elements. Eden possesses almost infinite power, but what would happen if it began acting without my intervention? If it started to feed on the ether, just like other Sin Eaters, it would undo all of our hard work. It is a disconcerting eventuality, and one which cannot be dismissed. I'm worried that even if we realign the elements, things will eventually return to how they were following the flood. Well, what if we destroy Eden afterwards? Easy. But if I train Eden how to nurture the environment rather than drain the life from it, we can leave it to take care of the empty in our place. I'll channel the ether through myself and show Eden how it's done. This isn't some house pet we're dealing with. If it all goes wrong, then what? I know this all sounds like I'm taking a leap of faith, but it has been a gamble every step of the way. We've managed to come this far because of faith, in ourselves and in each other. I've made my feelings on the matter perfectly clear, but what say you, Melchan? <laughs> With my memories to guide the summoning, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I'll hold back as much as possible. Uh, I don't like this plan at all. You have a good feeling about this plan? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's go with the funny option. Because my memories have been perfect. Green, I suppose that if you've got your heart set on this, there's no point trying to dissuade you. Just don't do anything reckless, is that clear? As crystal. This is going to work, I promise. I'll make sure of it. Well, for all our sakes, I certainly hope so. Because if the Prime will takes over... It'll be fine. With all of you by my side, I know that whatever happens, it'll work out in the end. All of us? I hope you're not including me. I can't even deal with my own problems. Never mind yours. It's enough just knowing you're here. Anyway, I've decided to take a leaf out of, a leaf out of your book. I do what I want, when I want. I've made my decision, so now I have to see it through. <laughs> this is a strange time to take that leaf out of her book, but okay. <laughs> yes, but this is a different kettle of fish altogether. Well, the point is that this is what I want, and I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. So, this is how much it means to you. This is a terrible idea. Memories of Shiva envelop your mind. I don't know how, but I can see her too. This might actually work. Refulgence.
final one of uh, Eden Part 2. It'll be fine. Even if we wipe and have to try it again, it'll be fine. So, she's not just waiting for the future to arrive, but actually trying to change it. Both Izel and Archbishop Thornton offered their corporeal forms as vessels, unto which the likenesses of preeminent figures from Ishgardian history were projected. However, the nature in which each met their demise is perhaps best not dwelled upon. <laughs> yeah. I think Eden is sending your thoughts to me. I see Izel and Shiva. They only wanted peace, a land where dragon and mankind could live side by side. With so many things left to chance, all I can do is wait and pray. Do you think the Twelve can hear me here in the first? I hope so. Refulgence. With the dark entity that haunted Gaia defeated, at least for the time being, he returned to the task of restoring balance to ice, the final element. Being the most strongly aligned in favour of stasis, it appears that Reen's direct involvement will be required to properly manipulate the ether. Really? <laughs> Alright. Inspired by tales of Isael, of Isael on the source, Reen decides to use her own body as a vessel and wield the power of Shiva. Alright, I'll just look at mechanics. Redress is sometimes a gaze attack because she's changing clothes. Don't peep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Axe kick, point blank AoE. Scythe kick is a donut. Um. Oh god, there's ice. No, not ice. Ice mechanics. Um. AoEs don't stack but stay center-ish? I don't know what that means. I guess we'll see. Mirrors reflect boss's attack. Oh god. There's meteor circles we need to soak. Alright, there's, there's a lot of figuring out what the what move the boss is doing and where to go so uh well it's uh that, it'll, it'll be fine <laughs> reen i won't lose control of this power reen probably loses control of the power <laughs> shocked pikachu face oh god we accidentally combined shiba with ixion oh god no <laughs> roll for initiative Yeah, you like Sancred's thing he pointed out? We didn't even have to do this for the other primals. And Reen's like, look, there's, poss there's a possibly bad future, so I'm going to jump off a cliff to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's, let's, let's die horribly. Ah, uh, this was the current raid tier for much longer than usual. Oof. Oh, yeah. I'm screwed. Hopefully it's a cool fight. Bye. I call upon the power of Shiva. Ooh.
inheritor of frost, Shiva. No, she's lost control. You've got to stop her. Really? Wow. Who would have thought we'd have to end up fighting her? <laughs> Well. For this, you would stoke the fires of conflict. Absolute zero. I think this was a raid wide. Yeah. Whoosh. Oh, that is a gaze attack. Oh, that eye is really high up on the <laughs> bar. Such impudence. Oh, that's a big AoE. Oh god, there's no walls, I just realized. Ah. Rip. things happening at the same time. Yeah. There was an arrow and I have no idea what it, what it meant. It's fine. Mirror, mirror. Oh god. Here we go. Mirrors. Delicious donuts. Mm, I do like how he, she totally changes appearance. Tranquility must be restored to oh. the land. Click. Oh. This is di okay. Stop the light from flooding this fractured world. Okay. <laughs> By my hand, this world shall be purified. Oh, okay. We're on. Uh, we got split. That's cool. We're on different platforms. Hi. Age of peace and tranquility has come. Mm. 
Light rampant. Uh, oh, okay, just an AOE. Uh, oh, I see. No, not the mirrors again. No, I don't want the mirrors. I don't understand the mirrors. Oh god, there's a lot of mirrors. Oh, that's a big AOE. Um, do the mirrors will do that. Okay. I think I understand the mirrors. <laughs> to look for that gaze attack. Oh god, not the ice. Whoa! Oh, that's harder. Hard to dodge. You're supposed to die, lady. Well, not not die. Oh. Oh God. Light crystals. The light. It's too much for her to bear. Hi. Love has granted her power. Doing the clock. Endless ice age. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, he believes in the future now. I want to see what tomorrow will bring. Oh, that's cool. We killed Rain. There she is. <laughs> that was a really cool fight. These, these Eden fights, all of them so bad, have been amazing. <laughs> uh, so all of them so far have been amazing. Wow. 
wind up rain. Oh, not merely a pellet swap. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I rolled a nine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do so many of these fights over and over. There's so much fun. She made a cool darkness hammer. Oh, it's awesome. Ah, oh, it's cool. It's a big treasure chest. <laughs> Oof, that was amazing. How do these fights keep getting better? Rain! You were there. I heard you. What happened to Shiva? Is she still in control? No, she's gone. But... Gaia? What? <laughs> that hammer. It matches your dress. <laughs> hmm. I see you're back to your normal idiotic self. <laughs> Kinda gay, just a little bit. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Maybe we could take it with us. Um, ice tends to melt, you know. Not this sort. Well, if you say so. Anyway, it might even make a nice necklace. That's a brilliant idea. Will thou not rush to her aid? Let them have a moment, jeez. <laughs> Perhaps I'm getting slow in my old age, because it would seem Gaia's beat me to it. To think that she would be the one to break the ice. Ahem. Ah. I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Academia and Nida. Yeah, maybe I'll do that next. Ah, oh, this song! It's a remix of this song! I love this song. Good song. They may have gotten off to a rocky start, but I think they'll make quite the pair. Is that a hint of melancholy I detect in thy voice? Something akin to a pining mother bird whose chicks have flown the nest. Father bird, if you don't mind. But I, you're not entirely wrong. Still, when the day finally comes to say goodbye, it heartens me to know she won't be alone. Oh god, this is so cute. <laughs> After that, we can go to the second serving for coffee biscuits. Fine, you win. And if they're anything less than perfection itself, I'll never let you live it down. If they're not to your liking, there are plenty of other things to try. I suppose we both deserve a little treat after all that hard work. <laughs> we certainly do.
there we were, laughing as if we had not a care in the world, fleeting though it was. In that moment, I was content. Just enjoying the music. But my life was never meant to be so simple. Uh oh, that sounds ominous. Oh my god, that was cool! Yeah, they've, they've done so much with fan grid. I love their, I love his development. He's fully aware he's the dad in this family and he embraces it, yeah! He approves of his gay daughter and her goth girlfriend. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was good. I've had my share of close shaves, but that was terrifying, to put it mildly. I can only hope the end justifies the means. I let myself get a little carried away there, but I was definitely the one controlling my powers, not the other way around. Even so, I hope I never have to use them again. Ice, being most naturally aligned to light among all elements, did interact with Reen's innate gifts in ways unforeseen. Were we not graced with the timely appearance of the Oracle of Darkness, I fear that this tale would have ended somewhat prematurely. Yeah, things got a bit intense there. <laughs> Kinda tried to destroy the world. <laughs> I'm so sorry everyone. I clearly have a long way to go before I can handle that kind of power. But we achieved what we set out to do, as I had faith we would. So without further ado, let's return to camp and admire our work. Bum, 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 bum. It's life. It's life. lasted a whole three seconds yeah <laughs> it feels like I'm witnessing the miracle performed by Minfilia a hundred years ago all over again the rapid propagation of flora appears to be limited to the intersections of ethereal channels as per our earlier findings nonetheless it is cause to rejoice that the seeds of ether have quickened in the barren garden that is the empty All this greenery is far more than I had dared to hope. I can't help but worry that it's too good to be true. Well, yeah, there's a whole nother chapter. Life, uh, uh, finds a way. Reen is ecstatic to see the first signs of greenery in the empty. I can feel all of the revitalized elements working in harmony. I've always believed Eden had the power to restore the empty, but I never expected it to happen so quickly. You're the one who made all this possible. I think we owe it all to Gaia's skills with the hammer. I never did get the hang of summoning primals correctly. <laughs> we owe it all to you and Gaia. I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. We ran into a few problems with Shiva, to say the least, but the others all went more or less according to plan. 
that we were able to come so far along this arduous journey may rightly be attributed to thine unwavering resolve. Aye, when you said that you'd reclaim this world, you truly meant it. We're proud of you, Reen. Hmm. I wonder if the effects from the rebalanced ether will spread to the rest of the empty. Perhaps we'll just have to wait and see. Besides, I'm sure we could all do with a rest. I must say, Rain, it's refreshing to see you take a more measured approach for a change. Uh, you always pick the snarky options. <laughs> Well, if my experience here has taught me anything, it's that I shouldn't rush into things unprepared. And I've also learned that there are some problems that can't be solved alone. Is that so? Since you freed me from Yulmore, I've met all sorts of kind people who've gone out of their way to help me. I thought that I should do everything in my power to repay their kindness and make the world a better place. But now more than ever, I realise that there's a limit to what I can achieve by myself. Even though I was able to summon Shiva, I couldn't control such vast amounts of ether. If Gaia hadn't been there for me, I might never have returned to normal. I could say the same about you. I was trapped in a nightmare, but you freed me. It seems we're more alike than I thought. We might not be able to do everything by ourselves, but if we look out for each other, then we can face our problems together. That's if you don't mind? No, it's fine. Really. If things don't work out, we can always go our separate ways. But on the other hand, if I can resist the urge to punch you whenever you annoy me, which I must say is quite often, I have no objections to staying around. You mean it? Oh, thank you, Gaia. This is just them agreeing to date, yeah. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with Ancred? May I suggest we continue the conversation in Armorang? Though the empty may now support us foliage. The land's normalisation hath but begun, and to linger over long still entaileth risks. Is aught the matter, Thancred? Nothing you need to worry about. Let's go. Oh, is he crying and hiding it? So, can we make out? Reen. Uh, I guess, Gaia. <laughs> to think that Reen is the same girl I rescued from Yulmore. Compared to the way she was back then, the difference is like night and day. Our, encamp uh, our encampment remaineth in its present state for our anticipated return. I cannot help but wonder how the land may change in our absence. Off to Maud Souk, are we? I can't say I care for the place. The marketplace reminds me of Yulmore, but instead of fine delicacies, they peddle... Well, I don't know what they are exactly. What I do know is they're far too wriggly for my liking. Yeah. Before we do anything else, we should report to Yalfoot. He'll want to know how we've been getting on in the empty. Speaking of Maud Souk, 
There was a snack of some sort that caught my eye last time. I can't describe it, but it looked... squidgy. Despite a strong suspicion that I may live to regret it, I'd like to try one. <laughs> what? Oh, I think I know the one you mean. They might not be much to look at, but I bet they taste amazing. Perhaps we could also try a pot of those jellied wrigglers or whatever they're called. I'll even let you take the first bite. <laughs> How generous. Ew, no thank you. First coffee biscuits, now worms in jelly. Heavens forbid the two of you might actually eat some proper food. Melchan, may I ask a favour of thee? Whilst then Crit and I return, return unto the Crystarium to inform our comrades of our recent exploits, I would have thee accompany Reen and Gaia to Maud Souk. You sure you want... You sure they need company? I... Okay. okay. Kind of being a third wheel here, but alright. Now he wants to talk to the others about his recent exploits, Orianja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it's like in Japan, but uh, ho hopefully things keep improving there. Hmm. Oh, there they are. I'm looking forward to showing Gaia around the Crystarium, but we'd better finish our work here first. I'm prepared to give this Maud Fair a try, although I should probably shut my eyes when I do. And my nose, come to think of it. I trust all is well, Miss Gaia. It will be once we get out of this desert town. If I have to spend another night in that dingy little room, I shall scream. I'm terribly sorry to hear that the accommodation was less than satisfactory. I'll investigate the availability of more comfortable lodgings post haste. Yes, I think we'll be staying in Maud Souk, at least for the time being. It might take a while for me to write the report, as our expedition was rather eventful. Melchan, I really appreciate everything you've done, and I'm sorry for all the trouble I've put you through. Still fretting about that, are you? What's done is done. Besides, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? You're right. Now, how about that treat we promised ourselves? They might not have coffee biscuits here, but I've heard the Wrigley cakes are to die for. Or was that you'll die from eating them? <laughs> Only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure trying the local delicacies will keep us occupied between writing reports and thinking about the next plan of action. Hopefully we'll have another chance to visit the empty to see how things are coming along. And don't even think about leaving me behind. Bum, 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 bum. To unlock the next quest, I must complete Echoes of a Fallen Star. There you go, that was part two of Eden. All finished in the empty for the time being. Jolly good. Should you need to return at any point, we shall have all of the necessary supplies at your disposal. Let's unlock Savage, then... Greetings, Mochan. How might I be of service? Second report. Basically, if this was exclusively written by and for an English-speaking audience, you suspect they would explicitly make them a couple? Yeah. Yeah, so same with Guidelow and Sanson. They were they, the writing danced around it, even though it was very obvious they were intended to be um, a gay couple. Reen informs me that balance has now been restored to all six elements in the empty. As such, representatives from the Crystarium will be making regular visits to the camp to observe any changes that occur. 
I shall oversee the delivery of whatever supplies they may require. Once again, Reen has calmly agreed to provide a report of your travails in the empty, up to and including the encounter with the being known as Shiva. The preliminary verbal account left me gobsmacked to say the least. Luri, I've finally finished. Melchan, how goes it? Actually, there was something I wanted to ask you. Don't worry, it's nothing dangerous. I was wondering if you'd like to join Gaia and I for some traditional moored soup evening tea. Oh. And in the meantime, I can read through your report. Now that that's taken care of, let's head over to the tea stall. Before that, there's one more thing. This concerns you, Melchan. I found this in Eden's core, and it seemed like it could be important. For all I know, it might even help me get my memories back. But when I look at it more closely, I see images of you swirling around inside it. Whatever this means, it probably means a lot more to you than it does to me. This crystal contains Eden's memories. We've seen one of these before, haven't we? As you stare intently at the crystal, your mind is overwhelmed with visions of struggles past, twisted and distorted by some unknown force. Yoshida! Whatever is the matter? <laughs> Whatever is the matter? And I just nod. <laughs> it's the same as last time. The only explanation I can think of is that Eden's own power altered its memories somehow. But was that before or after they were crystallised? What difference does it make? Regardless of how it was made and where it came from, I can't think of any possible use for this thing. If you want it, Melchan, it's yours. Uh, looks like I was the one wasting time on this occasion. Let's go and try this tea I've heard so much about. Gaia, wait a moment. Melchan, you're still looking a bit green about the gills, uh, around the gills, so perhaps you can join us next time instead. Anyway, I'd best catch up with Gaia. Rip. I don't get to join them. Hmm. Well, this crystal may not serve as an accurate record of your battles. It provides a glimpse of what might have been. It could even help in mentally preparing yourself for foes you have yet to face. Since it contains images of you and your exploits, it seems only right that you should be the one to safeguard it. Stare intently at it. Eden's very savage. You seriously wonder who thinks with their stomach more, Reen or Maya Fey? <laughs> That's a nice pose. I like it. And then do we have a report? I was as pleased as anyone in our inner circle to hear that greenery has at long last begun to grow in the empty. Ah, to think that our endeavours should finally bear fruit. Perhaps it is a little early to be using that turn of phrase. Although I dare say it is only a matter of time until it is true in both a figurative and a literal sense. As for Gaia, we have arranged accommodation for her in the Crystarium. Though it may be some time before her memories return, we aim to make her stay as comfortable as possible. And who knows, she may even come to prefer it over your more. <laughs> Are you two okay? <laughs> Rip. Oh, that's... Uh... Let's eat in. I don't think I ever read these, did I? For the savage versions. At first glance, the faintly glowing crystal brought back from Eden's core appears to be little more than a pretty bauble. As you gaze deep within, however, you are bombarded with images of your encounters in the empty. But your adversaries have been twisted 
into monstrosities, far more ferocious than those in your memory. Though you know these to be naught more than illusions, you find yourself compelled to see them through. Don't try the squiggly things. <laughs> the discovery of a second crystal within Eden's core leads to more questions and answers, and yet again, your mind is assaulted with terrifying visions upon gazing inside. You see foes previously vanquished reborn, more brutal and unrelenting than even your wildest imagination, yet your unwavering resolve forbids you from tearing your eyes away. Oh, I can't wait to watch videos of the um, extreme versions. Oh, sorry, savage versions. Mm. Okay, well. <laughs> well, let's do um, that other level 80 dungeon. Uh, the one that starts with A, but I don't remember what, what it's called. The light, the move light rampant. Just an AoE in normal version. In Savage, it does about five different things at once and makes everyone both position themselves incredibly precisely while not accumulating too many stacks of light, while soaking meteors, while not being exploded. Oh god, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous. Academia and Nida. Yeah, that's the one. Alright, I think I unlock that in your more. And we'll see who wants to come along. We might uh, have to have a roll off, actually, to figure out who fits in the group. This is a four player dungeon. Um... There it is. Southeast Derelicts. The Oneida was the river that ran through Utopia. Another Amorotine reference to the book. Ooh, okay, now I'm interested. Very interested. Ah, thank you, Garros. Hmm. Overwrought Undo. Hello. Light rampant alone completely stonewalled so many groups, and it comes very early. Jeez. Well, at least it comes early so you can learn it. <laughs> Unlike, um, freaking. Oh, what's what's that move that. I, I watched uh, a guide for Savage um, Brute Justice, and that final phase does the computational thing where you have to. You have to. Um, have to pass the two different checks at the same time. Ah, no worries. Ah, we've got our group of four then. Thank you all for help with Eden. Oh, Eden was so fun. I can't wait for the last wing. Okay. Oh, Land Dweller. You were one of the Ancients' messengers, yes? How fortunate I have found you. We need your help. Ever since the abyss was lit with the city's lanterns, a great beast, the likes of which we have never seen before, has begun hunting near the cups. It thrashes and gnashes with its cavernous maw, leaving nothing but tattered flesh in its wake. The eldest of the Ath fear it as an omen, a harbinger of our people's destruction. Have we angered the ancients? We cannot know. We dare not enter their sacred abode without first receiving their blessings. That is why I came to this town, this town of land dwellers, to seek those who had helped us before. And here you are. Please, enter the ancient city once more. Speak with them, and learn what we have done to earn their ire. A hostile creature of unknown origin threatens the lives of the Ondo people. Perhaps the clerk in Amarot's Bureau of the Administrator can shed some light on this mystery beast. Hmm. The ancients welcomed you once before, yes? Please, speak with them on our behalf, and learn what we can do to placate their wrath. Get to do stuff inside the city again. Ah, oh, that's cool. I love this, uh, this place. The fate, a fate world boss. Oh, okay. There's a world boss here in, um, in Tempest. Cool. Have to look out for that one.
Oh, the music. I think it looks like Twintania. Ah, okay. Interesting. Hello. How may I help you? And this beast was like no other, you say? Judging by the description, it may very well be one of the new types of fauna being created by the researchers of the Academia Anida. As such, this matter is out of my purview. I suggest you take your claims to the Bureau of the Architect, or better yet, speak with an Academia scholar directly. You will find the Academia Anida and its public officers to the south of this building. If this mystery beast is one of their experiments, then they will surely have more information to offer you. Hmm. Gonna have a dungeon inside the city. Cool. More like a giant lizard slug combo. Ah in the Shadowbringers benchmark trailer. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the public offices of the Academia Anida. The hallowed halls of the Academia itself are restricted to accredited scholars. Oh, my apologies. If I am not mistaken, your residency was arranged directly by Emmett Silk himself. As such, you have been granted special dispensation to enter our prestigious institution. Might I ask what has prompted your visit with us today? There's a monster eating people. I see. Yes, that particular creation is under our supervision. If you would like to confirm the beast's containment yourself, then might I suggest a tour of the grounds? Our head researcher is in residence and may be available to answer questions about the experiment you described. Your zeal for knowledge is impressive in one so young. I do implore you, however, to be careful inside the academia. Mind what you touch, and try not to distract the other researchers from their work. Finally, I must insist that you report to me on your return. It wouldn't do to lose track of our little visitor. This way, if you please. I still love how they all treat treat us as little kids. You think their vocalizations make it sound like they're honking? Oh no, I can't unhear that now. <laughs> In a quiet corner of Amarot stands an unremarkable entrance to a most remarkable institution, the Academia Anida. Within its hallowed halls, the star's ancient overseers toil to perfect the godlike art of creation magics, their research and experiments bringing into existence myriad forms of fantastical life. Yet even if these creations be naught but reflections of reality, mere phantasms woven from ether, the techniques which engender such miracles are a source of undeniable power. Step now across the threshold, and behold the glories of a civilization lost to the ages. Hmm, this sounds cool. Uh, I'll just quickly look at the guide. Level 80.
depth grip. Get behind the hands. There's bubbling grates to stand on. Ah, <laughs> a throwback to original Sis Tasha. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Oh, you're getting the sightseeing stuff, um, like without looking it up. Ooh, good luck. Okay. I shall just drink some water. Oh, I looked at the wrong one, did I? Oh, okay. There's similar names. Okay, thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Giant cone down entire arena. Giant marker. Try not to stand in front of it while spinning. Gonna puke. <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely. Pick up lightning orbs. Okay. Alright. Pick up orbs. Alright, just gonna drink some water. Yes, those are those are similar names. <laughs> All right, ready to check. Then off we go. There we go, now it's become music and not scary noises. <laughs> some lemonade. That cat lad made for us. You shouldn't be in here. The beast has broken free and released the other experiments. Ah, oh, fish. Shark is huge. Yep, shattered glass. That's cool. Visitor's Guide. I must read. This Hall of Learning was established in honour of the first matron, a scholar renowned for her exceptional contributions to our marine biosphere. It is here that many ichthyologists seek to follow in matron's footsteps and engender sea creatures characterised by traits both unique and beneficial. Diversity is the key to a robust star. The ocean is the soup of life and we must endeavour to enhance its richness. Such were the words of Mitron, and they guide our research to this day. Hmm. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> just all the lore about the ancients is just fascinating to me. 
the lounge music. Yeah, it's, it's cool actually. First stretch is interesting if you have a confident tank. <laughs> yeah, it seems like you can pull a lot at once if you want. I feel so small. For the shark. Oh my god, it's a street shark! Cladocelac. It's cool! I love it. I've already forgotten the mechanics. I'm just going to see what happens. <laughs> Another street shark! It's cool. So when do I get to race change to a street shark? Oh, I see. That one does a cone. Sneaky thing. Shark. Aww. Cool thing. The words of Halmarat. Which one of the ancients gave them muscles? <laughs> Fair question. Did you know that the original Halmarat, a man lauded for countless advancements in the field of Phytobiology was an avid landscape gardener. He was famed for botanical labyrinths, labyrinths of intricate design, the foliage of which he sought to protect from voracious pests with the inventive application of creation magics, a recreational project said to have led to the evolution of the world's first carnivorous plants. Students of his research later expanded upon those early techniques and successfully developed an extended family of ambulatory flora. If you too wish to set down roots in this fertile field of study, 
hearken you to the words of Helmerat and submit your application to the Academia. <laughs> This reminds me of one of the mansions from uh, Luigi's Mansion 2. One of them was really flora based. Bloodily. And this is why we have flying sharks. <laughs> yes. Oh, they, you can hear them dragging their little seed things around. Ah. Yeah, the, the pot scra scraping sound, yeah. <laughs> oh, they made the cactuar as well. Too many mouths. Horrifying. Oh my god, it's a nightmare creature. Tentacles. It's got arms as well. It's not allowed to have arms as well. Oh god, <laughs> it vomited on me. <laughs> I should have known that was going to happen. To move away from that mouth. I don't want to be puked on. Alright, yeah. Here looks good. That's fun. 
It still looks horrifying, but that was fun. Flee the way you came. Even worse lies ahead. It's fine. The words of Lahabraya. Ah, oh, I don't want to know about his words. Evil armor. Of course. As soon as we get to Lahabraya's stuff, it's evil armor. You're cool with the ancients making street sharks but creating flying sharks. <laughs> Must have been a researcher who saw too many memes. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I don't have laser beams. Yet. laser at me. Oh god, what is that? Ah, I don't know what it is, but it, it looks kind of fluffy, actually. Boom! Nay! Research. The instances of spontaneous creation occurring in the lands across the ocean are now a confirmed phenomenon. Seemingly unguided by conscious will, these aberrations are said to manifest as malformed beasts of nightmarish aspect and unrestrained ferocity. High-ranking phantomologists have since been dispatched to afflicted areas where they conducted the capture and transport of a single entity. This specimen? Characterized by a disproportionately large moor, was named Archaeotania, and investigations into its etheric composition are ongoing. A theory, posited by the esteemed Lahabraya, suggests that the shape these fiendish beings assume is not random, but rather an amalgamation of the fears which lurk behind our rational minds. As of this writing, researchers have begun pursuing methods by which potent guardians of deliberate design might be engendered to stand against this mounting threat. They captured one and brought it back. If it's La Laha Bread's creations, you're sure they are shoddily and haphazardly created. <laughs> yes. I offer up my life's energies in the name of noble creation. Come forth, Quetzalcoatl. Tame the frenzy which profanes these halls. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Guardian Force. Quetzalcoatl. Cool. If 
Thunderbolt. Orbs. These ones I pick up. Yeah. Damage up. Damage up. Oh. Love this cameo. That's cool. Oh. Oh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Sort of. Orb. Tasty orbs over there, if anyone wants tasty orb. Everlasting gobstoppers. Oh! Uh, uh, ow. <laughs> that was rough. Bit, bit rude. the orbs. I've got to look out for those. Whoosh. I'll grab that in a second. Oh, there's another one. I have like four AoE heals. <laughs> oh god. Can we like eat these or something? Oh no. That was cool. Bum, 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 bum. Earrings. This game's cool. No comms, toxic. <laughs> ah, our studious visitor returns. What do you think? What did you think of our experiments? Were your questions answered in a satisfactory manner? The scholars had turned into monsters. The experiments had escaped. I never thought of La Habrea as an academic. <laughs> I have nothing more to ask. Never thought of La Habrea as an academic. Oh my, yes. There are few who can match his knowledge and expertise in the field of phantom creation. You passed through the words of La Habrea, did you not? I imagine you found the research material there to be of particular interest, considering the purpose of your visit. Was there aught else which piqued your curiosity? I shall endeavour to provide you with answers to the best of my ability. The scholars turn into monsters.
what you witnessed would not have been transformation magics. It is more likely you observed the results of our research into advanced creation. Shape changing is a temporary effect at best. Creation, on the other hand, converts one's life energies into ether, which is then expended to bring a well-constructed concept into solid reality. By combining the aether of many individuals, we can theoretically create entities of ever greater complexity and grandeur, the methodology of which is the focus of our current experiments. Experiments escaped. There, there were street sharks. Escaped? I should think not. The Academia Anida boasts the most secure facilities and research protocols of any institution on this star. Ah, but they were scheduled to conduct research on those samples we captured from across the sea. Is it possible they were even more potent than we anticipated? Yet, even if such were the case, one cannot dismiss the resourcefulness of our scholars, not to mention the presence of the esteemed La Habrea. Yes, I am certain they will soon have the situation well in hand. You needn't worry your young mind about such things, and do not be discouraged. It is a pity your inquiries were disrupted this time, but there will be other opportunities to visit. I have nothing more to ask. No? Nothing? Well, as long as your thirst for knowledge has been slaked, then we should consider your visitation time well spent. As for the creature you suspect has broken free, rest assured that our officials will be taking up the thread of your investigation. You are certain it was not within the Academia grounds? Hmm. If by some miracle Archaeotania has, has gained its freedom, then what has become of the researchers tasked to contain it? Hmm? Oh, idle musings, nothing more. Was there not an acquaintance awaiting news of your progress? Let's not keep them in the dark. It seems the Academia Anida has no further information for you regarding the mystery beast. Any other group content? Um, I might might finish up the stream actually, and rest, rest my voice. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll call it once I turn in this quest, so that I don't uh, stream. I, I keep streaming over long, so this will be a good chance to not stream way too long. <laughs> yeah. Alphano mentioned something about how when they tried to speak to these phantoms about stuff other than what they knew, their conversations became confused and muddled. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, thank you everyone for coming along. That was awesome. This was so... This, this is... Shadowbringers is so good. Did you know Shadowbringers is good? Weird. Eden is a blast. Oh. And these dungeons have been really interesting. You have returned. What are the ancients? How do we soothe their rancor? You mean the beast escaped? It was not released to torment us? A terrible creation indeed, if it can slip the bonds of the ancients. And yet... It is a relief to know that we did not slight the old ones, that it was not our deeds which summoned forth this beast. I will swim back to the cups and consult my comrades. We must think on a strategy. Though huge in size, the beast is swift, elusive. My kin would be glad to have your aid in seeking its tracks. Finless ones do best where there is no water, and the sea has yet to reclaim our home. Come to the ocean floor, land dweller. Come and hunt the beast. I will at some point. It's that uh, boss fight. Hmm. Yeah, thank you all so much for coming along. 
yeah, I, I appreciate your help and yeah, I appreciate that you'll enjoy coming along. It's great. And watching the stream and stuff. Yeah, well, we are done for today. Hmm, get to decide what to do next time. Maybe I should start the near raid next time. Because I've been having fun with these raids. Hmm. Maybe I'll start near. Hmm. Yeah, alright. I, I think we'll start near next time. And then we can get back to class quests and... Um... There's a few other things to do, isn't there? Oh, there's the event. I want to do that before that runs out. Hmm. Yeah, so we'll we'll start near next time. White Mage plus Sage is a great combo for it. Nice. All right. Well, I'm not sure when I'll stream next time. Um, so tomorrow is Sunday for me. If I feel if my voice fills up for it, I'll stream tomorrow if I can. But I don't know if I. I you know, have to see how I feel tomorrow because Monday I am getting my booster. My Pfizer booster so I might be wiped out after that <laughs> so we'll see how I how I feel so I don't know when the next stream is gonna be it'll be whenever I feel up for it just seeing if there's anyone I want to raid I can send you to was Sakura I thought Sakura was streaming suppose not. I will send you to Willow, who's playing Final Fantasy VI. Willow. And I'll see you all next time for Nia. I'm really interested how that story unfolds. I don't know how that's going to fit into this lore, but uh, <laughs> we'll find out. So I'll see you next time, and thanks for coming along, and thanks for watching. See ya.